we're here with the 2016 Junior Youth World Champion, Lexi Slaughter. Lexi, who do you want to thank for this world title? Uh, definitely my parents and all my helpers that have helped me all year, and David and Charity Stone for letting me show their awesome mare. So what horse did you show all year? All year? Um, I went back and forth between two mares, Freculino Pep and Blue's Honky Cat. So do you know how many shows you've been this year? At least 70. Wow, that's a lot of hauling. So are you homeschooled? No, I go to public school. So how was that during this hauling year? You you hauled all through the weekends, and then on Sunday you had to drive all the way home to go back to school? Yeah, I did a lot of my homework in the truck. My mom told me if that's not done, I don't get to show. So <laughs> that's, that's always fun. Yeah. So coming into the World Finals, you were already winning the world. No one could catch you. How how was your World Finals? Did that make you feel good, just go show your horse, or how did that make you feel? It uh, made me feel a lot more relaxed. made me feel like I could just go in there and show and not have to worry about anything. So what horse did you show at the World Finals this year? I showed Franklin Pep, an eight-year-old mare that my dad trained. So on that mare at Houston, Texas, you marked a 228 on that mare. Is that the highest score you ever marked? Yes. <laughs> Did you plan on hauling at the first of the year? Were you planning on to win the world? I was uh, going to go the first couple weekends and see what happened. After the first weekend, the horse that I owned got hurt, so then um, I kind of had to cancel my plans, but then I had some very awesome people that said, you know what, just take my mare and haul her. So. That's amazing. So when did you start feeling comfortable when you started winning? How many points did it go back and forth between the year? Um, at the beginning, it kind of went back and forth. Actually, Ryan Rapp was in first the first couple weekends, and then um, we kind of caught up to him. And then I guess midway through the year, I was 40 points ahead, and that's when I started to get real comfortable. That's amazing. So, Lexi, how old are you? 14. So what do you plan on doing in cutting when you get older? Um, I don't know yet, but I know I want to continue showing. Cool. Uh, so have you made the top 15 before? Yes, I've, this will be my fifth year. I've uh, been in the top 15 since the first time they had the World Finals. So have you ever hauled to win it, or have you just hauled to make the top 15? I've just hauled to make the top 15. What has been your favorite show this year? Uh, definitely Houston, where I marked 228. So you won a world title. Did you do this all on one horse? No. <laughs> Who did you ride this year? Um, I mainly showed Franklin and Pep and Blue's Honky Cat. But uh, I showed a little bit Electric Junebug and Playa Metallica. So tell us why you needed all five horses to win a world. Um, when I went out of state or so, my horses got really sore being on the road. And so um, some of the trainers, like Matt Budge, let me borrow their horses to show. So did your dad train the other four horses you uh, showed? He trained Frecklina Pep and he finished Blue's Honky Cat and Electric Junebug wasn't training with them. Thank you for joining us, Lexi. Congratulations winning a world title. Thank you.